Brings us to our, our topic today about thinking ahead, simple things to consider before your next home improvement. What are some things that people should know? Because they, a lot of times they just jump right in. They hire a contractor, they go to town and they're like, oh, you know, that was done wrong. Or I don't like yes. this. We picked the wrong colors. We got to redo this. Like, it's crazy. Crazy. So think about someone who buys a car and what do you do before you buy a car? Are you test drive five different cars, you read reviews, you do research on the production, on their reliability, on their fuel efficiency, on all these details that are important to you. And any sort of home project we have to think about in the same level that we really want to come at it, that we really want to educate ourselves before we start to do it so that every penny, both financially and time investment are done and utilized in a really efficient way. If you think you want to do a color change, great. I mean, color itself is painting can be expensive. So that's something I tell my clients, a gallon of paint isn't even a cheap thing anymore. No. So if you're going to do a paint, you know, want to repaint your room, think about how long you want to go before repainting it again. If you are considering maybe repainting in a year or so, and you don't mind painting your walls turquoise, then go for it. Embrace it. It's paint and it's an easy thing to fix. But if you're really looking for a solid foundation to build and grow, like a child's room, a living area, a kitchen, you really kind of want to shoot for something that's a little bit of a neutral palette. That way it gives you the opportunity to embrace the architectural features that are there, but it gives you the ability to grow and develop in the space over time so that your investment is a bit more of a long run um, deal, which is really important. Um, same with kitchens, going to kitchens and baths. If you are going to renovate your kitchen or bath, the best thing I can tell you, plan. Think about, think about what you use. Think about how that space fails you every day. Where are you short? Do you not have enough counter space? Do you not have enough storage space? I tell my clients all the time, empty out your drawers in your kitchen or your bathroom. Think about what's in there. Do you use it? Is it something you use every day? Do you not have space and appropriate storage for the things that you do use every day? Where is the space failing you? And in that kind of research and development on that area and that you know room of your home, that helps to give you a better direction of what do you really need to fix? Think about what you want. Budget. If you're going to do a tile, you know, tile work in your bathroom, consider how much square footage you have and price it out because you don't want to be under the gun when the contractor says it's time I need your tile and you're in the tile shop and you have a fit when they tell you how much that tile is going to cost and you don't necessarily want to cut yourself short either this is an investment so do a little footwork go to the store go one trip just to find what you love and then maybe get two or three options at this one's my favorite. This is a second, third, you know, option one and get pricing one. on that. Um, if you are going to be doing your kitchen, a good place to start is your stone because it is one of the most expensive pieces with the least variations available. Um, you fit into whatever budget you can get for your stone. Most people, they have a budget. So in that case, find a piece of stone that you love, give yourself a couple options, and then use that as a stepping off point for color palette in your kitchen. Because it's a solid built-in feature, that's going to reflect into your cabinetry and eventually your paint colors and tiles and such. And the other thing is too, is consider the home that you're living in. If you're in a colonial home, we really don't want to develop a highly modern bathroom because the people coming in down the road when you decide to sell, unless this is your forever house, the people in five years down the road aren't going to understand why there's this highly modern bathroom in a very traditional classic structure. So yeah. we want to build into the quality and character of the architectural structure itself and complement that so that when it comes time to come to market, it's a holistic package. <laughs> <laughs>